All right, we are back in action, standing outside Termina. We're going to recruit our guide party member, and, uh, well, I'll tell you more about that later. In the meantime, we've got some business and excellent dialogue to take care of. Sorry, I'm totally out of bellflowers. There's a big ruckus down in Fossil Valley. Men from the Dragoons were setting roadblocks in the valley. Valley, valley, valley. I'll get some in a few days, so come back again then. Da, 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 da. You have my sincerest apologies. I understand we are here to protect you as Acacia Dragoons. Those knights should be done with their work shortly. Hmm. Oh, that's alright. I can get my flowers from other places, too. Never mind that. I haven't seen Karsh around here lately. How's he doing? Well... He said he was going ghost hunting down south. I'm just a private, so I do not know for certain, but I heard a rumor that Lord Viper ordered him to go. A ghost? Now that's something. I just hope it's not a sign of coming disaster. Why would it be a sign? If you ever see him, give him my regards. I will do that, and I will be back, too. So I guess Karsh is on friendly terms with people, even though he's a ghost hunting dick. And the young man is off and away. We will chase him in hot pursuit because we are creepy stalkers. Oh, great. This girl. God, you slow! Making me wait forever! Making a lovely lady like... <gasps> uh -huh. So that's it. I get it. This Sheila over here is your sweetie, eh? That's why I named her that. I'm right, ain't I? No need to be shy. I'm not so bold as to break up lovers tender moments. I'm understanding. I'll wait till your little date's over. Well then, have a bloody good time. We will. Good riddance to obnoxious garbage, as they say. Anyway, before we get back to stalking a young man, we've got the lovely statue to see. Master Viper, I'm here to polish your statue again. Ugh. Probably polishing something else like his knob. All right, squeaky clean. It's got to be extra clean for the coming festivities. Have you folks come to see the Viper Festival? <clears throat> Termina is peaceful thanks to the watchful eye of our Master Viper. At times warm, at times strict, Master Viper watches over us always. With that said, of course, the real Master Viper resides in his manor along with his Acacia Dragoons. If you'll allow me to brag for a little bit, I was invited there a while back. It is a magnificent place. If there is a heaven on earth, that would be it. The manor is beautiful, and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantage, making it an impregnable fortress. On top of that, there are powerful soldiers standing guard in front of the main gates that can destroy any monster with any blow. Well, an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the manor's garden party, but not so for you folks. The most you will get is a cold reception from the gate guards. Ho ho ho! That's three hoes. Santa. Oh god! Uh, won't you leave us alone? SARS. A bad disease. All right, that's settled. We've got to sneak into Viper Manor. You gotta find out what the Acacia Dragoons are up to, right? I guess. Why that Karsh bloke was trying to capture you? You know, I really don't. I've got some business there as well, so I'll go along with you. How about it, Aids? If it'll shut you up and get you out of here, goddamn. It's the obvious choice, right? According to Grandpa here, this Viper Manor is a bloody big place, which also means it's easy to break into. Uh, there's gotta be more than one way in. If we don't plan this right, it'll cost us our lives. Yeah, that's... Why are we doing it? Oh, yeah, AIDS. I'll leave this in your hands, just in case. Uh, better not... Oh, it's a teleporter. It's a really handy gadget that allows you to exchange party members from afar. The way you use it is... Ah, forget it. Check it out for yourself. I hate explaining the details. That's because you're retarded and don't know how. You received the teleporter. Man, if it was a real teleporter, that would really change the whole game. Anyway, kid joined your party. We can get rid of... Well, I guess we'll move Sheila out for now bring in SARS. As you can see, she's a little bit better in the strength and accuracy department, which is nice. Certainly an improvement. <clears throat> We're going to get a good magic user at some point soon, I hope. Anyway, we have, uh, well, let's go visit out this house, you know. Don't really need to chase that sandy-haired, handsome young man of a young man. Just yet. Yes? Who might you be? Grandma, they are travelers passing through. My, my, so sorry. My eyes have become really weak in my old age. My grandson was such a cute boy. He was really plump and cheerful. That's why the boy joined the circus to become a clown. For the first few years, he wrote letters to me almost daily. He was always 
said how gratifying the work was, although it was very challenging. One day, his letter stopped coming. I haven't heard from him since. I hope he wasn't in an accident or something. I just pray that I might see his cheerful face once more before the heavens come claim my soul. Jeez. Is this your son? What is this creepy thing? Mm. Looks like a clown, is all I'm saying. Yeah. Spoilers? It was his... sled. I just saved you two long, boobless hours. What's this kid doing? Me? No, I'm not waiting for anyone. I'm just too cool to hang with anyone else. So you're playing this get version of Hopscotch, right? Actually looks pretty intense for Hopscotch. Anyway, let's get some... Ah, motherfucker, I forgot. Uh, put the wrong party member in here. I'm going to have to switch Bang out for Sheila. So we can activate an interesting little extra scene. And I've been very bad at getting indoors in this game, as you may have noticed. Anyway, now this can showcase the teleporter as well. What it does is you can change party members at any time as long as you're at a save point or on the world map. That's all Sars had to explain, but she's retarded and unkind, so she did not do that for us. Anyway, we're going back to the item shop with Sheila in tow. This Sheila, as Sars put it. And here we are. Well, Sheila, long time no see. How are you? Since when did you have a boyfriend? It's not fair to keep me out of the loop. Yeah. It, it's nothing like that. It, he's my cousin. What? Isn't that right, Aid? No. I can only tell the truth. Oh, so she's your girlfriend? Mm. Well, if you still want to go on a date, that's cool with me. Oh, Lisa, stop that nonsense. Oops, before I forget, this is for you. Mom told me to say hi. And there's some hi for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mom, for me. So, miss, how can I help you today? Don't expect any special deals just because we're friends. I get special deals because I have friends that work places. You're just a, a shitty friend. Maybe a really good worker, I don't know. So, Heal is an upgraded version of Cure that we are going to use. And we can, uh, well, I don't know about getting a magnet bomb. We've already got two right now. Uh, Get another heal just in case. Ah, those will be good, but more importantly will be this medicine, as there's an enemy coming up that can really screw us up with blue status effects that I'll explain once we get there. Uh, anyway, I apologize if there's any scratchiness in the audio. Can't really figure out the noise reduction level. Got a bald man here. First of his kind, I believe. Why, if it isn't Sheila, what a pleasant surprise. The little girl I knew all grown up now. And what's this? Have you come to show your boyfriend off? Oh, you're so silly. I'm her cousin, man. Just the other day, I went on my usual trip to the Shadow Forest to gather wild plants. Did you? Believe it or not, I found a rare blue tip mushroom. How about that? Better not have eaten it. Do you envy me? No, probably got poisoned. <laughs> Looks like you don't appreciate mushrooms at all. Oh well, never mind. Okay, then, I'm going to tell you a big secret. What? Deep inside the forest, there is a very large tree. This tree has a big hole in it. This hole leads to an underground waterway, which is the perfect place for rare mushrooms to grow. If you go deeper into the waterway, you'll end up in Master Viper's main... Master Viper must also gather mushrooms in his spare time. He is a truly great man. Master Viper understands how to appreciate good mushrooms. What a wonderful lord he is. Yes. Thank you for that tip, by the way. I'll be able to get into Viper Manor quite easily now, by means of the Shadow Forest. Anyway, we can pursue uh, our sandy-haired, handsome young man. We just go this way. Although I believe there are some interesting little tidbits along the way as well. Ah, so this little crafty pair of eyes here, shifty eyes. Oh, it's an old lady. I wonder what she's doing in this tent of tents here. Who might you be? Fortunes be good, fortunes be bad. Anything from reading your destiny to searching for the missing. Eh, love your fortune? Who would like a reading? Let's, uh, let's give AIDS a reading. Well, this is interesting. You're not dead or anything, are you? Has anyone called you back from the great beyond? You might just be the key to the destruction of this entire planet. I can't say for sure, but a fate seems to have a great task for you. Be careful now, boy. A fate. 
Hey, AIDS, that's nothing but rubbish. Let's hurry up and get moving, eh? Hmm, you there! Uh-oh. In your eyes, I perceive both the look of a beauty and the look of a beast. Be mindful not to bring about your own end, my dear. A dream lies in wait, reaching out to engulf you. Shit. Sorry, Mum, I don't believe in fortune telling at all. I might wait for my own future by myself. Shouldn't it be me, self? God. Lassie, you should listen to your elder's advice. Ha, huh, I don't give a damn. Let's go, Aids. Don't be mean to the old lady. No, I'm sorry, ma'am, for wasting your time. Come back any time you want a reading. That is all. <sighs> all right. What an eventful event. Yahoo! Man, what is it with kids in these games saying Yahoo and Yippee and stuff? Hello there. Come and see for yourself. This is the prize of all prizes. A rare catch. A live mermaid. This is what you call a real treasure. Remember that, kids? Unfortunately, this one isn't for sale. She's my most valuable item. Oh my god, a real mermaid? That's awesome. So, what do you think? This isn't some stuffed animal or anything. She's really alive. Her pure, clear skin. It's like it's made from crystal. Her gem-like eyes. She's the ultimate collector's item. Well, to be fair, she's not really an item. Phew. Nature's creations are indeed great. Such a beautiful thing. This thing really alive? Hey, come on, look over this way. Oh, how beautiful she is. Man, she should have a no tapping on the glass rule. Oh, what the hell? Punk rocker. Ouch, yo! Hey, you! You think this is really fun? How would you feel if you were trapped in a tank like that, being stared at every day, huh? Yikes, it's Korcha! Run! Oh. What did he do, huh? Korcha, not you again. Don't you go bothering my customers. This is no place for the likes of you. Just leave now. Ja, shut up. What customers? You're selling a bunch of bull. No, it's a mermaid. Why didn't you keep the tank uncovered when I showed up? Hey, everybody. This shop is a bunch of bull-loney. What is bull-loney? Sh shut your mouth. Don't say such ridiculous things. Uh, get back to your demi-human friends. Yes, the word bull-loney is a ridiculous thing indeed. Heh, <laughs> I won't take that from a sleaze bag like you. Hey, you guys, you're not from around here, eh? Don't you wander around too much or you're gonna get burned. Just watch your back. If you haven't guessed, everyone uh, from a certain place is ch all the time. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Oh, he went that way. Yes, he, uh, a special little guy. That's Korcha. He's from Goldove. Yes, the Goldovians talk that way. I wonder why he hangs around here in Termina all the time. You shouldn't mess with the likes of him. I tell you, he's nothing but trouble. Okay, thank you for the advice, lady. We're going to follow in his direction anyway, because we are so nice, and we like people. 